I've been doing this for about five years now, and some people just don't understand. It's more than just moving paper around. It's finding yourself. If you can do that, you can do anything. Paper dancing started when we were in high school. We didn't actually come up with the idea though. We got it from this guy named Egbert Morehouse. Egbert wasn't the type of guy you would want to shake your hand with. He would come into class every day with a juice box in his left hand and he would eat peanut butter balls out of his pocket. I don't know how he was in our classes because he should have been in like some special class. I don't know if they even have something like that for him. Anyways, to make a long story short, um, one day he came in and he had this huge stack of papers on his desk and suddenly he just hit him into the air and it was mass chaos. But about 10 seconds later, he had paper danced every single sheet back into its original spot. You know, a lot of the class didn't know what the heck he was doing, but I thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. So I went and told my friends and they liked the idea and here we are today, continuing on the legacy. It's pretty, it's a hard life, you know, but you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you uh, reach out, you get the paper, you you just crush it, you destroy it, and uh, it's a problem, you know. You got to go through a lot of pieces of paper before you can get really good at it, like I am. Uh, just got this in today. 5,000 sheets of pure ecstasy. Probably only lasts me about a week, that's okay. It's worth it. You know, when I was five years old, I got my first box of stationery. That feeling... Undescribable. The sound of this is so nice. This. This is like drugs. But it's legal. Literally, it's legal size. Some people amaze me. I'm just, I'm sitting here doing my stuff, you know, paper dancing, throwing it out there. They come up to me. Oh, that's stupid. Let me try it. So they try it, right? First of all, they're terrible at it. Second of all, why are you trying something you express hate for? You know, don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. You think it's stupid, don't try it. I've been paper dancing for quite a while, but I just started industrial paper dancing. And it's kind of the same thing. It's in a new environment. I've been able to go into these places that are just being built and it's such a symbol of art and growth. And I can, I can just create masterpieces. What are you doing? What do you mean, my paper dancing? You can't do that, you dropped it on the floor. It's one of my moves. There's no move like that. I'll show you some moves. There is an unwritten law in paper dancing. In no circumstance can you continue paper dancing if it hits the floor. And if it does, you have to burn it. Any real paper dancer would know that. And to burn it, you have to go through an intricate process of preparing the paper, lighting it, and disposing of its ashes. Above any skillful competitor, there lies something much greater. Wind. With any normal opponent, I can crush sleeping pills in his food, I can shine laser beams in his eyes. You can't slip x lax in wind's drink. You have to conform with it. If you try to work against it, it'll just rip the paper right out of your hands, and to any real paper dancer, that's like dancing in the nude. It takes a long time to master, but I have that time. Jimmy's not the only one that I like to paper dance with. I really like paper dancing with wildlife, just because every single time is a new experience. I mean, you always get something different out of it. Often I find myself wanting to be one of them, just because it'd be another way to set myself free. John and I are pretty much masters at paper dancing now. It's good to have a partner to paper dance with. We can teach each other new moves. And uh, when we go to competitions, we're pretty much untouchable. I mean, we control the whole thing. Where do I see myself 10 years from now? I'll still be paper dancing. I'll be paper dancing until the day I die. And it's my dream to die with paper in my hands. There's no other way to go out in such style. And as for the future of paper dancing, well, if it hasn't taken over the world, it'll at least have swept the nation. I just hope I live to see that day.